<laughs> we have to keep doing this all day. Grinding, skimming, filtering that juice, and waiting. Harold Shakesnyder says patience is key when making pure Louisiana cane syrup. But it's about a five, six hour process. There's no cutting corners either, because Shakesnyder and John DeSales make their cane syrup the old fashioned way. Pure sugar cane juice. The only way they know how. This, this is just a miniature sugar mill here. We just crushing the Crushing, crushing the uh, stalk, the sugar cane, extracting the juice, and after that, letting it go into a kettle, and then we're gonna cook it. A mill that dates back to 1897. Its age does not affect its performance. Squeezing all 80 gallons of this cane juice you see right here. And many hours later. This is the final product. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of work and a whole lot of time. A trade to sales and Shake Snyder say is getting lost as the years go by. Uh, you just don't see it anymore. So to try to keep this kettle pot boiling, St. John Middle School teacher Anna Louvier brought her class to learn all about the process of sugar cane. So I felt that our kids needed to know a little bit more or a lot more about sugar, uh, that it's not just from the store, but um, the process is that our sugarcane farmers have to go through uh, in order to get it from the field to the store. This was standing cane. Students visited Cecil Ramagas's sugarcane farm in Plaquemine and even got to see a sugarcane harvest. St. John student Colin LaGrange said seeing, hearing, and smelling all the parts of the farm is a lot better than looking at books. It's different from the classroom because you get to see it out, you see it in progress. And yes, of course, students got to taste the sugar too. You chew it, Mary. Keeping traditions alive and educating little ones about it. That's what it all boils down to. In Plaquemine, I'm Taylor Fry for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture.